Welcome to my channel. In mathematics, summing series can often involve fascinating patterns and simplifications. Today, we explore a problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad junior level. Our aim to find the sum of the series. Pause the video, try yourself, then watch my explanation. To better understand the series, we notice that each term in the series, specifically the denominators. We have denominators 2, this 2 we can write it as 1 times 2 and this 6 we can write it as 2 times 3 and the denominator 12 we can write it as 3 times 4 and so on. First 3 term denominators are products of consecutive integers, isn't it? So what about the last 3 terms? Is it also product of consecutive integers? Let's check for that. First find the factor of 156. So this we can write it as 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 13. Now find the factors of 182. This we can write it as 13 times 2 times 7 is 14. Find the factors of 210. This so this one we can write it as 2 times 7 is 14, 14 times 15. What do you observe here? The last three terms denominators are also products of consecutive integers. Instead of 156, we can write it as 12 times 13. Instead of 182, we can write it as 13 times 14. Instead of 210, we can write it as 14 times 15. Let's start into the detailed steps to find the sum. Each term in the series, it is in the form of 1 over n times n plus 1, isn't it? If you substitute n equal to 1, so then you will get 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1 is 2. Similarly, if you substitute 2, then you will get 2 times 2 plus 1 is 3. Is, that is your second term. Like that, if you substitute n equal to 3, you will get 1 over 3 times 4 and so on. So it is in the form of 1 over n times n plus 1. So this we can write it as 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. If you do LCM, so n times n plus 1 in the numerator will get n plus 1 minus n. So here n and n cancel you will get same as the, the previous one. So this 1 over 1 times 2 it is in the form of 1 over n times n plus 1. So we can write this as 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. So if we write this here n value is 1. So that's why 1 over n value is 1. So write 1 minus. So now write this term. 1 over 1 plus 1 that is 2. So 1 over 1 times 2 we can write it as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. Similarly 1 over 2 times 3 now here you are taking n equal to 2. So write in terms of this formula then 1 over n means 1 over 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 means 1 over 2 plus 1 that is 3. So 1 over 2 times 3 we can write it as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Now 1 over 3 times 4 we can write it as 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 that is 4. So what do you observe here? Each term in the series can be written as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 plus second term 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus the third term 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus so on. This term we can write it as 1 over 12 minus 1 over 13 plus this term we can write it as 1 over 13 minus 1 over 14 plus the last term we can write it as 1 over 14 minus 1 over 15. Notice that this is a telescoping series where most intermediate terms cancel out. See, minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. Here minus 1 over 12 and this plus 1 over 12, minus 1 over 13 plus 1 over 13, minus 1 over 14 plus 1 over 14. After all cancellation, the remaining terms are the first term and the last term. After do the LCM, then you will get the value of the series is 
14 over 15. That's it. If you enjoy this mathematical journey, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful explanation and fascinating problems.